still a tree house that has alpacas as the host. That is unique, all right. Liz Pran found um, some fun vacation ideas for a fall getaway for you. Okay. Want to give her a treat? <gasps> Only if she'll kiss me again. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Meet Figgy, the undisputed star of the Atlanta Alpaca Treehouse. She's not even an alpaca, she's a llama. She has these empath tendencies where she finds people who really need her, and then she sits with them and sits like really, oh. Llama stay, but we have to check out all the other parts of the Airbnb. I saw the pictures, but I, I don't even think the pictures do it justice. Oh, thank you. And we get that a lot. Hard to believe this beautiful bamboo forest is just a few miles from downtown Atlanta. You kind of get transformed into this different place. You can hear yeah. the animals. Yeah. You feel like you're in the middle of nowhere and the bamboo is just so peaceful and serene. Tucked inside these swaying trees is the crown jewel, a tree house for adults. Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. This is think? so cool. This is so cool. Uh, the treehouse is minimalist, but you don't need much when you have these massive windows. The word that keeps coming to the surface over and over again is magical. This intimate treehouse is not for the little ones. No kids under 12 allowed. It costs an average of 400 bucks a night. If that's too steep, you can just book the llama alpaca experience for 50 bucks a person. Let's just be honest. People are probably just coming for the selfies. All right, Figgy, are you ready? <laughs> yep, nailed it. Check this out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On the other side of the country, I got word of another unique getaway, the Hogan Glamping at Sasha Dene. It's the traditional dwelling of the Navajo. They have no nails holding them together, no screws. The way that we lived in them before colonization. That means no electricity, no running water. You'll cook your food in the outdoor open fire. When you stay here, you've got to embrace the Navajo desert life. The kind of people that come here to this general area, they're seeking solace in nature. Nihan says a lot of people stay here before heading to the Horseshoe Bend or the Grand Canyon. It's just a special place. You know, you're surrounded by some amazingly beautiful sights that I absolutely could never curate if, if even if I tried. So Robin, this is really the trend. We're seeing people are loving the idea of just getting off the grid, even if it's for a day. So if you do want to go to that Airbnb that we just showed you, it's between 180 and 310 a night, but it sleeps up to four people and it's a great getaway. Robin, okay, back to you. I have you. a question. Where's the bathroom? Is there a bathroom up in the tree house or you have to walk to the bathroom? There is a commode, but you can only do one thing in that commode. There's another one, if duty calls, that does have the proper equipment if you're picking up one of them down. Unless you're the alpaca, then you go where you want, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. Liz, thank you.